Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant, and welcome back to the channel. There are cards right now in FIFA 23 that you do not want to own for much longer because their prices have already fallen, but they're going to continue to fall like crazy as we get closer and closer to the big upcoming promo that is causing all of these price drops. I want to dive into that and show you proof of why it's going to fall further by looking at some cards from last year's FIFA and talk through that scenario. And at least we had some good content for one, guys. Yesterday, on Sunday, we had some really good SBCs and objectives and, of course, some cards and packs with that mini release. we got to talk about all of that today. And hopefully today we get some content that will make our fodder rise that we invested in because fodder right now in this game is crazy cheap. We're going to talk about that as well. So if you're excited for the video, drop a thumbs up and, of course, subscribe if you are new. Let's dive into yesterday's content by first going into the SBC section and talk about what we got there. Actually, I have to go to my team because I did the SBC almost straight away yesterday. Lissandro Martinez has not had a special card in FIFA for a long time. He's got a right wing card in this game. Five star skills, four star weak foot, high, high work rates. This card to me is a really great value. And I'm surprised to say this, a Manchester United SBC that is good value, things you don't often see in FIFA. But for 160,000 coins, this card is basically the same, if not maybe a little bit better than Bukayo Saka's Team of the Season card. That's the way I'm comparing him as a midfielder. Yes, you could use him in attack a bit more, but I think his stats are perfectly suited on the basic chem style, not to be like Inception or a player review guy or anything like that. I think this guy is really good for the midfield. So the high high work rates there, fun card for me. And again, I'm surprised 164,000 coins is a lot cheaper than I would have expected them to price this SBC, of course, after the Trent Alexander Arnold SBC was so expensive earlier on. So W from EA here. You can use a Lissandro Martinez and a Harry Maguire for both under 200k each. Absolutely love that from EA just for the vibes, for the fun. That's an SBC to craft this week with upgrade packs. Speaking of upgrade packs, we had an 86 plus player pick that was dropped yesterday as well. Starting off our upgrade pack spam, it's repeatable every single day and it does only require an 85 squad, which as you can see on footbin there for a second, it's 66% down downvoted. It is definitely a risk, right? This is one of those packs that you're doing in hopes of getting one of the big shapeshifter cards. You can do it every single day. It's a one of four. And uh, Kyle Walker was very packable. The new Kyle Walker goalkeeper uh, shapeshifters card was very packable. And his price kind of shows that. Uh, we'll talk about that here in a second. But this kind of reminds me of the 8410 that we had last week on Monday. Now, my question is, we didn't get an icon SBC yesterday. That was the biggest thing missing out of content. Will EA actually release an icon SBC today? Because if you remember two weeks ago on this day, that 90 plus Brazil, France and Dutch icon pack was actually released on a Monday, which is not normal. But could they do that again? We'll talk about that and fodder later in the video. Now let's go to objectives and talk about what we got there because this was the biggest W of content yesterday, in my opinion, the Kamavinga crafting objective 50 completions to get this done guys i know it's sometimes a little bit difficult to get these 50 completions at least for me i usually get like 20 or 30 very easily with all the non-rares that i accumulate during the week but i think this is a really good value this is the best objective we have had during shapeshifters this kamavinga card is amazing for the stats for the links that he provides as well and he's Real Madrid, and he is French. Basically, the links here are amazing. Links to Cruz, uh, all the French players we've had recently, Tony Rudiger as well. I think this is another card that I would like to play even in the midfield as a midfielder. High, high work rates, four-star, four-star. The only thing I wish he had was a five-star skill move boost or a five-star weak foot. Um, he does have some really nice traits as well. Solid player, dives into tackles, technical dribbler. So for 300,000 coins, and the reason I'm calculating this at a 300,000 coin objective is if you buy all of the gold non-rares off the market, they're about 650 to 700 a piece, that would mean 6,000 coins or so per SBC that you're doing that shapeshifters crafting upgrade. 50 times that would be 300K. You do get the guaranteed shapeshifter and tots pack and some other fodder packs along the way. For me, it's just a W player. His 88 rated inform from earlier on this year was so cracked and very in demand. I think that's just an insane card from EA that they released yesterday in that crafting objective. Get it done throughout the week. Make sure you're playing all the game modes uh, because that'll help you get a lot of the non-rares that you need to stock up to get that objective completed. So along with that, of course, we already mentioned this card, the Kyle Walker goalkeeper card. And man, it is crazy. Number one, his price right now is 120,000 coins, this Kyle Walker card. Guys, this man was extinct at 290K yesterday. 
um, when he was first released. And I knew right away that he was not going to stay extinct because his supply is actually crazy, right? A lot of people were packing him from the 86 plus upgrade pack. A lot of people were packing him from other packs in the store and stuff like that. He is very, very packable, which means he is very supplied on the market, but also at the same time, he is very in demand. This card is going to be number one on Footbin probably for most of the day. 5,000 upvotes on the first day for a card is crazy on Footbin. And again, this is a card that looks so much like it's so much fun, right? I know he's only six foot, and I know that people are going to say he's not that meta, but this card's got some really interesting things to it. Five star skills, four star weak foot. He's only six foot again, but he has 94 speed. When I use this guy in a couple of foot champs games, he was blazing fast coming out of goal, and everything he did was just crazy, crazy fast. Now, I will say he did let in some goals from distance, like some finesse shots I scored, had scored against me, some Trivellas, um, because he is shorter, but he also had some of the craziest save animations I've ever seen. So that's my 11-win opinion of this card. One thing I will tell you, though, is if you take a look at these Kyle Walkers on the market, notice he does not have the goalkeeper basic chemistry style on his card this is a first owner tradable packed kyle walker it is the regular basic chemistry style if you are going to use this card in game use a wall or a glove or a cat or some other sort of chemistry style because with this basic chem style it's like the regular basic that's used on the outfield players right like center mids attackers like when we pack those they have regular basic goalkeepers have their own basic card which is usually attacked attached to goalkeepers in this game goalkeeper basic and uh, if you want to get the benefits of that um, card which actually does give a really really good boost to the Kyle Walker shapeshifters you have to go and buy it off of the market it is about 5,000 coins 4 to 5k it is a bit expensive but just so that you are aware when you pack a goalkeeper card Kyle Walker it does not come with a goalkeeper basic chemistry style and that does not give you that boost just so that you are aware that's kind of one of the things that right now people are learning about this card and um, is kind of unfortunate I don't understand why that is the case but it is now also yesterday we had a couple versions of Balak that were dropped big fan of this right back left back Balak card he is very cheap as well 117,000 coins an absolute baller card 95 pace 90 and every other stat except for shooting five star weak foot so we can play on the right or the left really great stats here and only 100,000 coins is phenomenal the other one is a midfielder or a wing slash midfielder card to me, this one is not as good. I like the defender one better. And then, of course, we did have the Musa Dembele center back as well, which, in my opinion, this is just a worse regen of the Giroud center back card from an earlier team in Shapeshifter. So, for a mini release yesterday, not too bad. Kyle Walker with, of course, all the hype and being so cheap as well. Just an absolutely fun card to try. I picked up some Kyle Walkers. They're on my transfer list right now because I do believe he'll rise a little bit in the day as so many people are going to be excited to try that card out. So we're going a little bit risky with that. Now, speaking of the market, speaking of prices, areas where I'm not being risky in right now and where you guys should probably not be owning too many cards as well are, again, we're continually talking about these team of the season cards and other out of pack specials. You're like, Nate, we already talked about this, right? We did. But what I wanted to bring up today in the conversation is there is more to this discussion. And I want to show you last year how these cards were impacted. Because if you think, Nate, I can still hold on this card, right? For a couple more days. The answer is no. I would get these cards out because they are going to keep falling. They're tradable, right? This is Dybala. First owner pack pulled from the daily Tots or Tots moments upgrade. This guy is down from 530K where he was at yesterday. So many prices that we looked at in yesterday's video are down even further. And guys, they're just going to keep dropping right and what cards are we worried about well first of all the reason these prices are dropping once again just in case you missed it in yesterday's video footies super loan pack that pack right there it's not in the game but it's telling us that a footies is coming and b they're going to do best of with batches in packs once again and that creates panic because we know that when cards get re-released back into packs their prices tank. And this is the exact same thing that started to happen last year when we got close to footies. People knew this type of content was going to be coming. The market crashes started, but then when footies dropped, this is what we're scared of, guys, right? This is what is coming. It's not a question. It is a fact. This is what is coming at some point in the next month on this game. Look at 96 rated. Ju you guys remember this card from last year, right? If you played FIFA, you remember this card at the end of the year. He was released in batch one 
of the footies best of that's a 96 rated tots card re-released into packs when footies dropped last year from 840,000 coins the next week he was 180 Okay, now that's a price drop off that you don't want to forget to sell your card before it happens, right? That's what we're trying to warn you guys about today. It's more for the older cards. Shapeshifters we'll talk about in a second. But Marcus Rashford, uh, Fantasy Foot, remember this last year? Yeah, he was re-released into packs too from 800,000 coins. Oh, what's he the next weekend? 290,000 coins. Huge drop offs when these guys get re-released in packs. Now you can tell. Just we're basically at this point right now of last year, right? We're seeing the drop off. We know Fleas is coming. People are starting to sell these cards. And of course, on top of that, we've got these uh, tradable packs that are supplying all the team of the season cards right now in the game anyway. Every single day that we look at Saturday from 800k on Musiala, we go down to 700,000 coins. Yesterday on Sunday, we go from 750 all the way down to 650k. These prices just keep going down, which is again, why well, I'm stressing it in this video today, guys. Probably not going to talk about it too much more throughout this week because the same thing is going to be happening over and over and over. All of these prices, team of the season cards especially, because they're holding the most value right now. These are the ones that are in jeopardy the most of continuing to drop off. So be careful with them. I would say during the next day or so, take the cash, not to risk it. The only thing that's going to make these cards go up is if we are not getting footies and people say, oh my goodness, footies is not this Friday. I'm going to go back out and buy this card off the market because A, I want it for my team or uh, B, you know, whatever. Probably same reason. You want it for your team. But that's the only thing right now for me that's going to make these cards go back up because you're getting supplied tradable on the market every day as well. Now, if you're like, Nate, I bought shapeshifters or I want to buy shapeshifters for my team. Do I have to be worried about those cards dropping in the coming days? Yes and no, right? They're going to drop off, but shapeshifters are not going to be re-released in packs like this next week for footies batch number one. In fact, I don't think we saw any shapeshifters in packs until batch three last year of footies, which was in August. And you can see Hazard, the day he was dropped back in packs from 900,000 coins, what is he the next couple days? To 200,000 coins, right? So some of these guys that are in shapeshifters teams like one, two, and three right now, yes, Rudiger might be 400,000 coins in a week or two and continue to drop off a bit more in price. Yes, Van Dyke might drop down like five, six, seven hundred K for a, one of the top tier cards in this promo, but it's not like Rudiger is going to go to 150 K this next week, right? It's probably going to be three weeks from now, something along those lines before you start to see all of these shapeshifters re-released back into packs. And we'll cover that more and talk about it more throughout the week this week, but you're a little bit safer, at least with shapeshifter cards right now on this game compared to team of the seasons, team of the years. I would even throw in that boat of probably want to sell those pretty soon as well. If you still have those tradable in your team, the moral of the story is guys, be careful. I don't want to belabor the point. Be careful right now in this market because it is the end game and stuff gets really, really cheap in the end game. Now, let's talk about today on Monday. What are we looking at for Monday content? Since we already have an upgrade pack, that 86 plus player pick, what else can we expect to see today? Of course, all the refreshes, right? The TOTS upgrade, it's going to refresh today. Everything else that we're going to see refreshing um, on this game today. I, actually, the hero player pick refreshes today, interestingly enough. Um, of course, your daily upgrades and stuff like that. Make sure you're getting your daily login upgrade done every single day. One thing I hope that EA dropped today, the 82 plus player pick, right? We had the 81 plus two weeks ago, the 82 plus last week. Drop the 82 plus again. Those player picks were absolutely phenomenal. Uh, gold rares right now are 750 right kind of the same thing gold commons are going up so gold rares are going up as well i would stock your club because foot champs rewards get paid out this morning on monday and that usually means that there is going to be ample supply of gold cards on the market so i would go out and stock gold cards in your club i'm going to go ahead and do a little bit of that myself at the moment so i can get these in the club just so that you can do player picks today when they drop for a little bit cheaper now i hope that ea does not disappoint this week and today, if they do disappoint, if we do not get a player pick, if we do not get a good upgrade pack, and it's seriously an L day, not thinking that they will happen, but if it does, that could mean some positive spin on the market. And, you know, there is maybe a slight chance that that would happen if EA want this week to be really quiet uh, before we head into footies. But I think they want to keep the content rolling with the way they've been doing content the past two weeks. So I think it's very likely we'll get an 82 plus player pick today. So watch out for that. Now, the bigger question is, Will we get an icon SBC? 
And again, my memory goes back to two weeks ago, like we mentioned, where the 90 plus Brazil, French and Dutch icon pack released on a Monday. And that was a big surprise. We didn't have it on Sunday and they dropped it on a Monday. And here we are again in the same scenario where we had a pack SBC yesterday or a player pick. But we're once again saying, EA, where in the world is our Icon Upgrade SBC? We want to have a chance at packing Icons right now. That's one of the, the reasons you would want to grind even in the menus at the moment, right? Is to have a chance at packing a guy like this Ronaldinho or the Team of the Year Hullet or a Foot Birthday Cantona maybe is somebody who you're trying to pack from one of these upgrade packs and you want a chance at doing that. People just love Icon packs on this game in general. So... There's a chance that it could be today. Do I see a game this week and content this week without an icon pack? I feel like it's very unlikely, even though we already have a hero pack. At this stage of the game, EA know they got to do more to keep us interested. Guys, I feel like there is potential for that pack. And if we think about that pack coming, or actually speaking of upgrade packs, an 85 plus times 7, maybe that's an 84 times 10 replacement. And we're going to have that and an 86 plus today, since that was just recently added to the code. That's a thought I have as well, but that's more of a theory, I guess. Not super um, expectant upon that one. We're looking at fodder, right? Because last night we looked at fodder at these 88s where they were like 15, 16K. We're like, yeah, that's a good deal. Well, we didn't get the icon pack, and now they're down even lower. What's driving these prices down even lower, guys? Team of the Seasons, man. Team of the Seasons are, I don't even know what I'm seeing on this market right now for TOTS fodder prices. If you go look at the cheapest TOTS moments player, remember when these were 80K just about a week ago? Yeah, they are 17,000 coins. Some of them are 15K. What is that? Oh, 15K for the lowest rated ones. 88s on this market are 15K. 91s are 17,000 coins. This is ridiculous at how cheap these cards are getting. And it's all because of the tradable supply, but it looks like also some people are panic selling these cards, right? I think some people were trying to trade with them and, and yesterday, and man, like this is literally a discard 88 rated card, guys. Like it doesn't get cheaper than this for 88. This is crazy. And it's dragging the rest of the fodder market down with it. This is a good opportunity, in my opinion, if you have not yet. And if you think there's going to be an icon SBC today, the golds. What do we talk about in yesterday's video? The golds are the ones that you want to buy because those are the ones that people go to first to buy to put in the SBCs because that's what they know as fodder, right? So if you want to double down on 88s, I think, yes, it is risky because we need an icon pack or we need another sort of upgrade pack today that would require those higher rated players for them to go up in price. But man, these prices are absolutely ridiculous. And honestly, if you think towards footies, what is footies all about? It's an SBC based promo. These might be some of the lowest prices on the gold cards that we see during uh, the next couple of weeks. If it's going to be a big footies SBC promo, I'm not saying to invest from for that far out. I'm just saying with these prices, the way that they are, especially on some like the 91s, like all the cheapest 91 rated cards of the game right now are um, TOTS cards, except for N Nesri. 18K for N Nesri. That's crazy. I would pick one of those up and put it in the club as well. But fodder is just such an interesting watch right now. And I do believe there'll be more SBCs coming out this week, whether it's player SBCs, icon packs or something along those lines. So that was why I would hold the fodder if I have it. I used my fodder yesterday uh, on doing Lissandro, so I don't have mine anymore. But those prices are just absolutely insanely low. So that's kind of a kind of a rundown, a look at the content right now in this game. I'm going to stock all these golds in the club, put this Kyle Walker on the transfer list and finish some of my champs games. Guys, I can't believe it. Yesterday I opened the 500,000 coin pack. How lucky do I have to be opening the 500k pack? I got three other shapeshifters inside of the pack. Nothing super crazy, but I got a duplicate Luis Figo um, who I packed from a player pick on Friday that I saved for shapeshifters team three. Unbelievable, man. Absolutely unbelievable. Oh, last thing before we go and depart from this video. Keep a close eye on EA's FC Twitter. I know I talked about this yesterday, but guys, for real, for real, I think there is news on EA FC coming in the next couple of days. That is not a leak. I do not know anything. That is just speculation. Um, and I mean, it's it's July, right? It says learn more July. We are in July now, so I think they're not going to want to wait us. Let us keep waiting super long. I think it's going to be pretty soon when we start hearing about EA Sports FC. So that's going to be the video for today, guys. If you did enjoy, smash a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions. And of course, subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate, the Food Account. I'll see you guys in the stream today. Peace.